This is not one of those places to expect a majestic scenery. No, it is a place to find your epic adventure. Saying that, there are still quite a fair bit of activities to keep you busy if you want to. And most importantly, to me it is one of the most relaxing places in our road trip. The place I was referring to is Lake Entrance. The plan is to leave Melbourne City for Lake Entrance. And before that, we will do a stopover at Belgrave, a town where Puffing Village is located. I think some of you may already heard of Puffing Billy. It is a railway operating in Victoria around early 1900 to open up remote areas. And now the main purpose of the steam train is to serve as a sightseeing ride. make a mistake for not checking the schedules of the rides and not booking them in advance. Apparently the ride is quite popular and the earlier rides were all fully booked. We decided not to take the later time slot as the shortest round trip ride will still take around 2 hours and it will dramatically affect our road trip schedule. And because of this silly mistake, we make a trip all the way here just to have a glimpse of the steam train leaving. We hang around the area and had lunch break at a nearby cafe. I think Belgrave is a nice little town located at the foothill. And it is definitely worthwhile to spend some time exploring the area. Grave, we will drive for another 3 hours to Lake Entrance. The name of the town, Lake Entrance, which is literally the entrance from the sea to the lakes. And it also happens to be Australia's largest inland waterways. Lake Entrance has long been a popular holiday spot for the Australian. I think maybe less so for the international tourists, as it is less prominent compared to the mainstream attractions. The town is well equipped with accommodation, services and facilities. Definitely a place for fishing enthusiasts. You can also explore the lakes in kayak or join a boat cruise. There are always activities to do.
There's also a lookout point to have a bird eye view of the entire network of waterways. It may sound funny, but the main highlight of our trip here is actually our accommodations. We rented this Airbnb house for two nights. At the front porch, this may seem like it's just another house. But the amazing part is actually the balcony at the backyard. An unobstructed view of the lake. Even the indoor dining area has a fantastic view of the lake because of the full-size glass panel. Just like any coastal settlement, the seafood here is really fresh and the price is reasonable as well. We actually spend a lot of time in the house preparing our meals and enjoying a few beers with an amazing sunset view. This place isn't lack of activities, but at times we really just want to slow down our pace and not worry about what to do next. Even just a simple morning stroll to the jetty at our backyard and enjoying the quietness of the morning lake is really something out of this world for city folks like us. <laughs> 